This video is going to show you how to keep your course page tidy and also how to uh, move things around and just edit the layout a little bit when you get started. First of all, get to your main course page and turn on your editing. That's the turn editing on button top right hand corner. What you'll find then is a, a number of extra tools and buttons appear on the screen for you. Let's just have a look at what these are. The little pencil tool that appears beside all the headings on your page this allows you to edit the actual title of that item just in situ so so if I just change that one so it now says announcements instead of news forum okay um, the crosshair button allows you to drag the item and change its position on the page so that makes that nice and easy to move things around and rearrange where you want things on the page you then have an editing button, it's called update here, which allows you to go in and change all the other settings to do with that specific item. So for example, if we chose the editing button just for this title, it would take us in and allow us to just change what that said. I could get rid of that and just have unit 19. Description and then I go down and save the changes. OK, so it says Unit 19 Description now. So every item has got an edit button, whether it's a, a document that you've uploaded, an item that was there on the page already, or a heading, a subheading that you want to put in. OK, the red cross is the next one that you're interested in. Delete. So if there's an item there you don't actually want, we can click that red cross and it will pop up and say, are you sure? Let's get rid of it. OK, and it's disappeared then from the course page. One other icon here that's quite useful to you is the little eye. And you'll notice if you look around the page, the eye appears in various places. This eye tells you what it does, it hides the item. So you can either hide an individual item by clicking the eye. The item is greyed out. As the teacher, you can still see it, but the students no longer can see anything about that item on their page. You can then click that eye if you want to show that item again at a later stage. So if I click it again, it, it comes on again. The students can see it again the next time they log in and it's available. Now you can hide an entire topic if you want to. So I could hide the whole of this Unit 19 Outcome 3. If I click the eye at the side, it's hidden from the students. OK. And when I want to, I can switch that back on again. OK. The other thing you can do to tidy up your page is deal with the red blocks that are appearing on the side. They may appear on the right or the left hand side. These red blocks, um, you can control what's there and what isn't. So again, these have edit buttons available to them. The red cross will get rid of the block altogether. So I could get rid of the activities block there, saying, am I sure? Yes, please. And that block has now disappeared. I could also get rid of navigation if I wanted to. But additionally, I can add blocks. And there are plenty of blocks that you can choose from. The activities block is actually quite a useful one. I'm going to put it back on again because just as a, a method of quickly getting to different things within the course page, the student can click on the word quizzes and it will then show all the quizzes on that course site in one little block rather than them having to scroll down through the whole list. Likewise for resources. So if I click resources here, we'll see that they can see under the topic heading, it's given them whatever the resources are. OK, and any description that was typed in by the lecturer at the time. OK, if we go back to the course page, um, there are other blocks that might be of use to you as well. Specifically, there's one called HTML. If I just pop this one on, and what I can do is I can go and find that one. And I can grab it and move it up to the top. I just need to move all of this out of the way first. HTML right up to the top. What this one lets us do if I edit it with its little edit button, I can put in whatever content I like. I've got a block, I can give it a title, so I might want to call it web links and I might want to give a nice list of web links to the students. So if we do some of our favourites that we know, so we've got BBC, website, Google, um, and then all I have to do is put in the web address for these. So if I highlight them and find the link button, insert the link, and I type in you can, of course, paste these if you copied them from somewhere. OK, click Insert. So that is now a link. And I can do the same for Google. I'll highlight the word Google, click the Link button. It 
put in the Google web address which I could have pasted in and there it is. Now when I go down and save that block at the top of our page now we now have a web link block with those two links that will take the students to the websites we want to. If I turn off editing again you've got a nice clear view of what the students are seeing so they've got that web link block there. They also have the navigation block and activities. Okay let's put the editing back on Remember, you can rearrange these blocks quite easily. Activities might be better up at the top there. And uh, turn your editing off again. And that's how you can just do a, a few little tidy ups around your course page, a rearranging of what's on there to make it a bit clearer and a bit tidier for the students.